When we think of modern drone warfare, it's easy to imagine the giants Baikar, DJI, or General Atomics. But in recent years, one smaller player has quietly become one of Europe's most important drone manufacturers, Quantum Systems. And what's even more intriguing is that much of its rise is tied not to Berlin or Washington, but to Kyiv. Quantum Systems announced plans to expand its production capacity eightfold by 2026, a staggering move that signals just how quickly the drone sector is evolving in Europe. This expansion isn't just about meeting demand, it's about transforming Germany into a hub of drone innovation at a time when Europe's defense landscape is shifting dramatically. At the center of this push is a new category of weapon, the Jaeger Interceptor Drone. It's described as a hybrid between a missile and a drone, designed to hunt and destroy aerial threats autonomously. Think of it as a flying missile with a brain. The fact that such a system is being prioritized shows how seriously Germany and its defense industry now view the aerial dimension of future warfare. But here's the interesting part. While Quantum Systems is a German company, its operational heart beats partly in Ukraine. Since Russia's full-scale invasion, the Ukrainian front has become a testing ground for nearly every modern drone system, from FPV kamikaze units to high-altitude reconnaissance platforms. And Quantum Systems has been there from the start, supplying drones like the Vector, Falk, and AR-100H to Ukrainian forces. Each one has been tested, refined, and hardened under real combat conditions. That's what gives Quantum Systems its edge. When you hear a company claim its systems are battle-proven, it usually means field trials. For Quantum Systems, it means frontline feedback from soldiers who rely on these drones to survive. Every adjustment, every software patch, every hardware tweak is shaped by lessons learned in Ukrainian skies. That kind of data cannot be simulated in peacetime labs or NATO exercises. It's a competitive advantage money can't buy. And that feedback loop is paying off. Earlier this month, the German Bundeswehr approved a procurement deal for up to 747 Twister reconnaissance drones valued at 25 million euros. This follows a far larger contract worth 210 million euros for more than 500 Falk drones. That's not just a success story, that's a signal of confidence. The German military is betting on technology shaped by Ukrainian experience. So how did Quantum Systems go from a niche UAV company to a cornerstone of Europe's defense supply chain? The answer lies in timing, adaptability, and geography. Before 2022, Europe's drone ecosystem lagged behind both the US and Asia. The war in Ukraine changed that overnight. Suddenly, the battlefield demanded thousands of drones every month. Reconnaissance, attack, loitering, and now interceptor types. European governments realized that relying on imports wasn't sustainable. They needed local producers with combat-validated designs. And quantum systems fit that profile perfectly. The company's production facilities in Germany are now set for major expansion. But what's even more telling is that Ukraine itself remains part of this manufacturing network. Quantum operates a drone assembly line in Ukraine, and it's likely that production there will also scale up in parallel. It's a symbolic relationship. Germany supplies the capital and infrastructure. Ukraine provides the battlefield expertise. Together, they're building a model for how defense innovation can thrive even amid war. At the corporate level, Quantum Systems is evolving beyond just a hardware producer. The company is also investing heavily in software ecosystems, most notably through its Mosaic UXS control system, an advanced platform designed to manage multiple drones across different missions. The next step, according to executives, is to create a universal software layer capable of integrating drones from different manufacturers. Imagine a single command system that can coordinate fleets of aerial and ground drones regardless of origin, German, American, or Ukrainian. That's not just convenience, it's interoperability at a strategic scale. And interoperability will be essential as the company moves toward new domains. Quantum is preparing to introduce its first unmanned ground vehicle in 2026. Details are still classified, but it represents another leap forward. The vision seems clear to create a family of autonomous systems, aerial, ground, and perhaps maritime, all linked through one digital brain. It's a model that mirrors what leading U.S. defense tech firms like Anduril or Palantir are pursuing, but this time it's coming from Europe. The Reliant project further illustrates this ambition. This large mothership drone, capable of carrying smaller UAVs, was once pitched to the U.S. military and is now slated for German deployment. It's a platform that reflects where drone warfare is heading. Swarms, modular payloads, and autonomous coordination. The lines between aircraft, missile, and robot are blurring, and Quantum wants to be at the center of that convergence. But what makes this story remarkable is not just the technology, it's the strategic realignment it represents. Germany, a country long hesitant to lead militarily, is now positioning itself as a drone powerhouse. And that transformation is being driven by collaboration with Ukraine. 
Kayib's frontline innovations and Berlin's industrial capacity are feeding into one another, creating a self-reinforcing cycle of progress. It's not just made in Germany anymore, it's battle-tested in Ukraine. This synergy raises important questions for Europe's defense future. As Ukrainian engineers and German manufacturers continue to cooperate, are we witnessing the birth of a new trans-European defense model? One that's agile, data-driven, and based on wartime realities rather than bureaucratic planning. If so, it could redefine how NATO nations approach defense procurement and innovation in the coming decade. For quantum systems, the trajectory seems clear. The company is scaling up fast, its order books are filling, and its brand is becoming synonymous with reliability under fire. But behind the corporate success is a deeper truth. The war in Ukraine has turned drone warfare from a niche capability into a mainstream necessity. Nations are no longer asking whether they need drones. They're asking which drones can be produced fastest, adapted quickest, and integrated most efficiently into networked operations. And that's exactly where Quantum Systems excels. With every flight over Ukrainian trenches, every intercepted signal, every destroyed target, their drones are learning, evolving. The battlefield has become a laboratory, and the lessons from that lab are shaping the next generation of European defense technology. In a sense, Quantum Systems embodies a new European doctrine, one where innovation is driven not by theory but by survival. The future of warfare will be defined by those who can iterate the fastest, deploy the smartest, and learn the quickest. For now, Germany's quantum systems, with Ukraine as its proving ground, seems to be leading that race. Because in modern war, experience isn't just valuable, it's decisive. And when your drones are designed by engineers in Munich but perfected by soldiers in Mykolaiv, that experience becomes something even more powerful. The foundation of Europe's defense in the drone age.